Okay guys, so I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about Destiny 2's very own Galahorn type weapon but before we go any further, I am giving away this Resurrectionist emblem to enter, simply hit that like button and leave a comment, details are on screen now Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to give you guys my opinion on a Galahorn type weapon for Destiny 2. Now, when I say Galahorn type weapon, I don't actually mean a Galahorn variant, so to speak. I mean a weapon which represents the same thing the Galahorn did back in the early days of Destiny 1. So let's go back. Back in the day when Destiny was kind of fresh, exotics were way harder to come by than what most people know from the experiences as of today. Oh, oh Dave, you got hard light? No, I needed hard light! I needed it! <laughs> <laughs> the Galhorn was the pinnacle exotic weapon, the one weapon everybody really wanted, the one weapon everybody really needed. Now if you were a year one player, you would know the Galhorn made a lot of things within Destiny 1 way easier than they should have been. It was the very reason most people jumped on the bandwagon of grinding week in week out for this very weapon. Little did they know, Zer actually sold it the second week he ever visited. I actually remember it too, but at the time I was so strapped for strange coins, I didn't buy it. I remember thinking I would wait until next week to see if he brings something better. But this was way before everybody knew its true power and rarity. It was around the times of Crota that this thing exploded in popularity. It was that must have weapon for defeating Crota. And to be honest it ruined the experience for many many people. People with and people without this weapon. No, I hock more. I mean, you know, we all got rares. We all got strange coins or something, man. <gasps> no! No! Hey! No! Yes! 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 Let's go! No way! I got Gallo! I got Gallo! Oh my God! He was driving no arms. For the people with the weapon, it made things so easy. It never gave them the full benefit of achieving that win with the difficulty Bungie intended. And for the guys who didn't have the weapon, it made finding a team to take down Crota almost impossible due to people searching for others who firstly owned this Galahorn. The Galahorn was a weapon which in my opinion helped Year 1 of Destiny be as popular as it was. The amount of people who played it just to own it was insane. The amount of people who grew into the game due to needing it was even more insane. Now me personally, I think it did the world of good for Destiny as a game. It's the weapon that got a lot of people playing and kept them playing. And it's for this very reason a weapon as such would be great for Destiny 2. Now what the weapon represented wasn't great at all, but a weapon to grind for, a weapon to have, the must have weapon in my opinion is great for the game and the community. Now this kind of must have weapon has shifted numerous times through the Destiny years. A big portion of the time it was the Fawn which was the must have weapon. It's since been the Galahorn again, the Fawn again, the Icebreaker, great weapons for people to chase. And it's this chase which makes the game so exciting to play and grind. I personally love that experience and I kind of miss it now. Hopefully we get that sense of achievement back in Destiny 2. Now it's bound to happen when the game first comes out. That sense of searching for new exotics, the sense of leveling up and reaching top level, getting that certain armour and finding new secrets and solving mysteries. This is what Destiny should be all about and I cannot wait for that. Now we know of a few exotics that are already in the game. But in my opinion, I think we've already seen our first Galahorn type weapon in the sense of the first exotic most people will want first and grind for. And it's this one on screen now. And to be honest, it hasn't even been confirmed as being an exotic yet. But I mean, just look at it. If this ain't an exotic, I would bet you the world's flat. I mean, for sure, this has got to be an exotic weapon. The thing about this weapon is also, it kind of looks like it's shooting an energy burst. I mean I could be wrong here and it could just be a grenade launcher offering that void burn but look at it again and the actual design of this weapon itself states it's something different than a grenade launcher. 
but that's all speculation at this time and you know I like to speculate but I don't like to give out false information but it looks amazing for damn sure and I cannot wait to get on and grind for this weapon within Destiny 2. The 8th of September cannot hurry up and come around, it really can't. But what do you think about all of this people? Do you think the inclusion of exotics with a rarer stature is a good thing? Do you think there should be weapons in the game which are harder to obtain than others? Do you think the Galhorn not as a weapon but as a basis for that certain exotic stature has a place in Destiny 2? Good thing or bad thing, let me know down below. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny, make sure you subscribe. If you never want to miss a video, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I upload. But as always guys, thanks for stopping by and I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Get it right